Hello everyone, my name is Om Shah and I am a legal intern at Lexus and Kimberley. Today I am going to discuss about the Article 22 of the Constitution of India. Article 22 of the Constitution of India guarantees certain safeguards against arrest and detention in certain cases. It states that no person who is arrested shall be detained in custody without being informed as soon as may be of the grounds for such arrest nor shall, be, nor shall he be denied the right to consult and to be defended by a legal practitioner of his choice. Second, every person who is arrested and detained in custody shall be produced before the nearest magistrate within a period of 24 hours of such arrest, excluding the time necessary for the journey from the place of arrest to the court of magistrate. Third, nothing in clauses first and second shall apply to any person who for the time being is an enemy alien or to any person who is arrested or detained under any law providing for preventive detention. Clause 1 of Article 22 guarantees the right to be informed of the ground for arrest. This means that a person who is arrested must be told why they are being arrested. They must also be told the name of the person who has ordered their arrest. Clause 2 of Article 22 guarantees the right to be produced before a magistrate within 24 hours of arrest. This means that a person who is arrested must be taken to a magistrate within 24 hours of their arrest. The magistrate will then decide whether the person should be detained or released. Clause 3 of Article 22 provides for exceptions to the rights guaranteed in Clauses 1 and 2. These ex exceptions apply to enemy aliens and to people who are detained under a law providing for preventive detention. The Supreme Court has also held that the right to be produced before a magistrate within 24 hours of arrest is a procedural safeguard that is essential to ensure that people are not arbitrarily detained. This right cannot be denied except in exceptional circumstances such as when there is a threat to national security or public order. The Supreme Court has also held that the right to preventive detention is a valid exception to, to the right to personal liberty. However, the court has also held that the government must follow strict procedural safeguards when using preventive detention laws. These safeguards include the requirement that the government must show that there is a reasonable ground to believe that the, that the person to be detained is likely to endanger national security or public order. Article 22 is an important safeguard against arbitrary arrest and detention. It helps to ensure that people are not detained without good reason and that they have access to legal representation. Now, I am winding up this video. If any of you has questions regarding the same, do let me know in the comment box. Thank you.